Existing protocols now. Yeah. In Hamefe, Omani, yeah. Your Majesties, Regional Ministers, yeah. Ministers of State, yeah. MMDAs. Yeah. This day is a day for Kadangbe. Yeah. This day calls for our unity. If we will uphold the discipline of our forebearers, yeah. then it's important that this day. We plan the trajectory and the tapestry of our Katangbe dispensation. No, 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 no. We cannot live like this anymore. No. We must unite at all costs for purpose. No. And the testament of Asafu Tufiam, the 87th of it, makes me believe that Katangbe Bafi will be. Paramount Chief, the Adan Traditional Area, and President of the Adan Traditional Council. Your Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufu Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, Chairman of this historic occasion, Royal Highness Jia Hoho Yao Jebi II. President of the National House of Chiefs and President and Paramount Chief of Sefi Amiyansu Traditional Area. Our guests of honor, the Gamanche, Your Royal Majesty King Takite Kochiru II, Gamanche and President of the Gan Traditional Council, Professor Obuade Odaifio Nocheni Odaifio Wolenche Head. Paramount Chief and President of the Nungwa Traditional Council, and also the Acting President of the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs, Dodoa. Honorable Ministers of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, Honorable District Chiefs, Executives, Neneme, Naname, Honorable Assembly Members, Distinguished Divided Guests, 
our proud sponsors, fellow citizens of Adan State, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure and delight on behalf of the Adan Traditional Council and the good people of Adan warmly welcome you all and here in Garded to this very important, currently uplifting and historic Grand Deba of our annual Asafutu Fiam Festival. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the theme thoughtfully chosen by the Adan Traditional Council for this year's celebration is upholding the discipline of our forebears, sustainable development and unity of Adam. As in nature, the old gives way to the new. So it is the position of new people universally. Therefore, the general expectation is that every effort morally and spiritually should be made in preparing the people in readiness for their inevitable leadership role in the future. It is in light of this very important matter that nations all over the world formulate and implement policies towards developing leadership capacities, capabilities, and potentials of their people for the huge tax that lies ahead of them. It is in building, in this building a process, parents, families, religious institutions, and society at large are major stakeholders in ensuring that moral, spiritual, ritual respect, and other godly virtues are instilled into the people so that the toll of our forebears do not go waste on the platter of reckless abandon. It is from this premise, ladies and gentlemen, that the character, behavior, and attitude of the people of this generation is of great concern and leaves much to be worried about. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, distinguished divided guest, Nene Menana, my ladies and gentlemen, as our sacred identity, Adair, and for that matter, Dangmes have been the, Dangmes has a well-organized cultural identity. From time immemorial, discipline and order have been the roots of our identity, expression, and practice. This is deeply woven into the fabric of our domestic, communal, and family life. Mention the traditional name of any Adan citizen, and you can tell not only the sex, but also the clan one belongs to, the native village, parentage, and the position occupied by birth in the family. This is our cultural articulation of and our way of defining one's existence as a continuation of life and as part of a whole. As a Fotufia Miyase festival itself is an expression of our being part of the value, excellence, and victories of our current forebears. I want to passionately appeal to the people of our dance state and the nation at large, especially the youth, in whom our collective hopes and aspirations for the future are vested, that it takes great discipline and unalloyed commitment and dedication, the intrinsic human values and virtues to succeed in our collective endeavors as a people of a common heritage. This is what our forebears did to leave us this great legacy of space called the Adan State, from which we all proudly derive our identity and our sense of belonging as a collective, and which was what informed our choice of the theme, upholding the discipline of our forebears of the sustainable development and unity for Adan for this year's Asafotufian Festival. Nana Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I therefore fervently implore all our people to uphold these attributes of discipline as a guiding light in all that we do, so that tolerance, respect, and the spirit of agreeing to disagree will be brought to bear on our social discourses. Nana Chairman, we cannot talk about discipline without mentioning the current rampant abuse 
of the media, social media platforms by mostly the youth of our country. The advent of the social media in our era is a God-given opportunity that affords our people a chance to learn from and contribute their quota for the betterment of the entire world. They can also use it to showcase our traditional values, cultural norms, and practices among others. It is, however, sad to say. <laughs>